So let's talk about redirecting a web page using PHP. So this can be a valuable thing for any number of reasons. So basically the idea is you have a domain and you, you have a web page. And what you want is you want people to go to that web page and then you want them to get automatically redirected somewhere else. Maybe this is for maintenance. So let's say you're doing maintenance on your website. So you don't want people to go to your website. So for the index, they will come to, let's say, siliconedojo.com and then they'll automatically get redirected somewhere else so that you can do maintenance. This can also be very valuable for things like tracking. So let's say you're doing some kind of affiliate link um, or basically you're selling like cost per click advertising. So instead of using a uh, URL shortener like uh, Bitly or something like that, what you can do is you can come up with web pages on your own site and then have a simple PHP script that redirects people to a different web page. Again, so like some kind of affiliate landing page. But while it do does that, it can also do things such as track how many times your web page has been accessed. Uh, take information from the people accessing uh, the web page, so on and so forth. And so this script can be very valuable for any number of reasons, and it's a very simple way that basically just redirect people. When they come to your web page, you then redirect them to a different web page, and it's relatively seamless for the end user, but it allows you to do things, again, like log information. So log how many times the web page has been accessed, log the IP addresses of people that access the web page, log things things like um, web browsers, all kinds of different information. Um, and so that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the script is using the header to redirect people to a different web page. So with that, let's go over and I'll show you how this very, very simple script actually works. So this is a simple script called header.php, and all this is going to do is it's going to redirect people from the header.php page, and we are just going to send them to our friends, our friends over at cnn.com. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this to silicondojo.com, so, so silicondojo.com forward slash header.php. When we go to that particular URL, it will automatically redirect us to cnn.com. And so for this, you could basically put almost anything in here. I could put an elicomputerguy.com or failnormal.com or whoever whoever else. Again, like I said, you can put in like a landing page to an affiliate site. Um, since this is all a PHP script, all I'm doing in this particular script is I'm simply sending per somebody to the, to the page, but I could have, again, a connection to a log file here. I could drop cookies. That's one thing people do in order to track people through the internet. I could do a redirection, but before I do the redirection, I could drop a cookie in their web browser so I can track them through multiple sites. So the important thing is, is what you can do is you can add in a lot of other uh, PHP functionality before the redirection actually happens. And as far as the user is concerned, it'll be almost instantaneous and they won't even realize that other functions have happened before they got redirected. But for this, as always, it's rather simple. You just uh, you, you open with the, the open the, the PHP tag and then we're going to use what's called the header function. So the header function can actually send different types of information back to the web browser. What we are simply going to do here is we're going to use the header function as a redirect. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say header and then we're going to open parentheses. Now this gets a little weird as far as uh, just conventions go. This looks kind of odd, but everything within the parentheses is important for the redirect, so don't leave anything out. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open with a double quotation marks, and then what we're going to say is we're gonna say location. And so this is important, this has to be here. So location, uh, colon. And so what this is saying to the to the, 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 the browser is I want you to go to this location. Then you're going to do a space, and then you have to type out the entire uh, fully qual qualified domain name. So the HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash, and then the entire web address that you're going to be going to. And so for this, it's just www.cnn.com, and we can just plug in that forward slash. So what this is going to say is return header, so give back to the web browser a new location, so the location of and then wherever you're sending them, www.cnn.com, and then you close out the double quotation marks. Past that, you close the parentheses, and then of course you do the semicolon, and that's the sum total of what's required in order to do a redirect using PHP. Of course, we then close, 
uh, the PHP script, and that's it. So it's important to understand with this, this is all you have to do for the header. But again, you have kind of a lot of other functionality fire off before they actually get redirected. You can grab their IP address, you can drop in a cookie, you can do all kinds of wacky stuff. And so again, that this be becomes very valuable for like web marketing, e-commerce, advertising, any kind of stuff like that. And then all we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google Chrome. I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to go to silicondojo.com. And then we are simply going to put in header.php. So again, to be clear here, we are going to siliconDojo.com. This is this is my this is my website. This is my domain name. But when we hit enter, you're going to see relatively quickly it simply fires off and we get redirected to CNN.com. And so that's how it can work. So I could have again, I could have EliCuterGuy.com forward slash NordVPN. <laughs> PHP. Uh, and if you went to NordVPN, then that would automatically send you to my NordVPN uh, affiliate page. Or, you know, EliTheComputerGuy.com forward slash BetterHealth.php. <laughs> I could do it, I suppose. And then that would send you directly to my BetterHelp um, uh, affiliate page. And the nice thing about this is I completely own this. This is not this is not somebody else's URL shortener. I have to worry if it's getting shut down. It's not somebody else's service where I have to worry. Again, I have to worry about what information they're grabbing from my users. I completely own this. Um, and this is all literally within PHP. So it's not like it's going to get deprecated in, in a year or two. Like this will be around forever. So that's basically all there is to the uh, to redirecting with uh, with the header function, uh, and again, it really is that simple. So that's all you have to do to redirect web pages using PHP. You just use that header function. You just do header parentheses double quotation mark location colon and then wherever you want to send the person, uh, and that's basically all there is to it. This is an incredibly useful tool. Again, this is this is where I talk about like that kind of secretarial service that PHP can do. We're just a simple thing where let's say, you know, you you had an old website that you no longer want to maintain and you want to send people to your new website. All you do is on the index.php uh, file that you create, you literally just put this header script in and that will send people to your new website. That's all you have to do. Easy peasy. Uh, also, again, like I say, with e-commerce, that type of thing, you can redirect people to particular affiliate landing pages, that type of thing. Makes life a lot easier. And again, with, with great power comes great responsibility. You can see with this where if you start adding on some of the other functionality I've shown you, shown you with PHP, you can start doing either some good or nefarious things. Again, multiple, multiple lines of code can fire off before the person actually gets redirected. So you can grab their IP address, you can grab their web browser, you can drop cookies in, you can do all kinds of funky stuff. And again, remember, morals, morals and ethics are a good thing. Just, just gotta put that out there for you. <laughs> Be a good person when you code. That's That would be my only request. And so that's all there is for redirecting using the header function. And that's really how easy it is. And that's why it matters.